Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving an exponential system. Exponential equations are interesting. Exponential systems are more interesting. Let's get started. We have a to the power x equals b to the power y and x to the power y equals y to the power x. a and b are given numbers or parameters and we are also told that a does not equal b, a does not equal 1, b does not equal 1. So we're basically going to exclude all the trivial cases, even cases like x equals 1, y equals 1, so on and so forth. We just want to find solutions in general, but anything that causes trouble will be excluded. Okay, now let's go ahead and start with the first one here. I'm going to log both sides. And that's going to give me log a to the power x equals log b to the power y. Using the power property, I can write this as x log a equals y log b. I'll be doing the same thing for the second equation here. Then I can write it as log x to the power y equals log y to the power x. And when you do the powers, you get log x multiplied by y equals x times log y. And again, in this, and as I mentioned before, uh, log here is base 10. Okay, that's what I mean by log, not the natural one. So from here, we can isolate x over y. From the first equation, x over y becomes log b over log a. From the second one, it becomes log x over log y. So since x over y can be written in two ways, we can set them equal and then see what we can do from there. So I can write it as log b over log a is equal to log x over log y since they're both equal to x over y. For, for here, I'd like to do cross multiplication. So let's write it as log b times log y is equal to log a times log x. So here, what I'd like to do, okay, what am I trying to do here? I'd like to isolate y. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by log b and write it as a coefficient here for log x. So this is critical. Now I will use this with, so basically let's raise, why don't we do this? 10 to the power of both sides. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking about. There's also an alternative. You can also do the following. Use this as a coefficient here and make it an exponent like this. And that way you're going to be able to write y in terms of x. But I'm just going to use a slightly different approach and do 10 to the power both sides. So that gives me 10 to the power log y is equal to 10 to the power this. And that can be written as a product so I can write it as 10 to the power log x to the power because the exponents are multiplied here. I can write it this way. Now, here's one thing to remember, 10 to the power log something is equal to that thing because if you think about it, I think this came up in another video as well, but it's this is very easy to prove. You can just call log a equals something and then go with the definition. So 10 to the power log y is gonna equal y and this is going to equal x, so I can write y in terms of x, which is the critical part of the solution. So I was able to express y in terms of x and I'll be using this in my equations, in one of my equations. Which one? I'd like to use x to the power y equals y to the power x. Again, here you'll notice that uh, y I want it be not to be 1 because log 1 is 0 and I don't want anything undefined. And again, we're avoiding all the trivial cases here because they are so trivial. Okay. Let's go ahead and substitute what we found here. x to the power y will be replaced with x to the power log a over log b. And that is equal to x to the power log a over log b to the power x. Here exponents will be multiplied. Let's go ahead and write it down. x to the power x to the power log a over log b equals and when you when you multiply the exponents here it's going to look like this log a over log b times x now one thing we can do here is 
we can look at the bases and you don't want x to be 1 or negative 1 because we want to work with exponents. So from here, we can say that, we can safely say that these two have to be equal if we're looking for non-trivial solutions. Of course, if x equals 1, then anything can be a solution, but that's not the goal. So let's write this as x to the power log a over log b equals log a over log b times x. Again, a and b are given numbers, so we're going to find our answers to x and y in terms of a and b. Now, let's divide both sides by x, and division means you're going to subtract exponents, so it's going to look like this. x to the power log a over log b minus 1 equals log a over log b. If you want, you can call log a over log b like c, and then at the end you can substitute. It's not super duper important because we're almost done. Now, what do we do from here? We're going to be looking for x values. So let's go ahead and simplify this exponent a little bit, make a common denominator like this. And now we're going to raise both sides to a power so that we can uh, get rid of the exponent here and isolate x. So we want x to the power 1. So we need to raise both sides to a power of the reciprocal of the power. I, I hope that makes sense. I, I don't know if it's a good way to say it, but I'm just going to take this and raise both sides. Let me rewrite it. And of course, at this point, there is other ways to write it, like log a minus log b can be written as log a over b, so on and so forth. I'm not going to get into those. Just leave it like this, everything in terms of log a and log b. Now, if I raise this, and of course, the right-hand side at the same time, to the same power, and that power is going to be, let's see what that's going to look like. That power is going to be the reciprocal of this expression here, so that their product is going to be 1. So I want to raise both sides to the power log b over log a minus log b. And of course, I have to do it on both sides. And when I do, these are going to cancel out because their product is going to be 1. And I'll be getting x from here. So x equals log a over log b to the power log b over log b minus, I mean log a, it should be log a, okay, log a minus log b, okay, that is the x value. Now we want to find the y value as well, so how do you find the y value? Well to find the y value we're going to be using our substitution here, this one, so I can now replace y with this or replace x with what we found. So y is equal to x to the power something, right? So let me go ahead and write it here, because what I'd like to do is, I would like to substitute and find y and put it together. So let me leave some room there. So y, it can be written as even more room maybe, just like use this area. Okay, y can be written as, what was our uh, finding? x to the power log a of, over log b. And now replace x with what it is, which is log a over log b to the power log b over log a minus log b. And then raise it to the power, because this is just x, raise it to the power log a over log b. Now, these two exponents, this one and this one, they're going to be multiplied, right? So when we multiply those two exponents, the log b is going to cancel out. And that's going to leave a log a in the exponent. So we can write the y as pretty much the same base, log a over log b, but the exponent will be different, of course. Instead of log b, here we have a log b for x, it's going to be log a. They're very similar because they're related, of course, in different ways. And here we go, this is going to be our solutions as an ordered pair. And again, I was trying to avoid some trivial cases and where a is 1, b is 1, so on and so forth, because it's just going to make our expression undefined. And obviously, we don't want that. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.